teams giving off good vibrations as we get ready for the 2022 season. This can go in a lot of different directions. Who do you have, Chris? Well, well I'm going to go right away with the – I mean, the Chiefs, excuse me. The Chiefs are the team I'm going with here, 100%. Uh, to me, just defense was phenomenal. You've heard me kind of rave about them almost every week of the preseason so far. You know, Mahomes, the first two games, was phenomenal as well. I just feel like they're a team on, on a mission here. And the fact that they played so much and going to hit the ground running, I think they're giving off big-time good vibes here. So I'm going to take the Chiefs to start this off. I'm going to start with the team that when they last played, I actually picked them to beat the Chiefs in the playoffs. And it sounded batshit crazy at the time. Sorry. Uh, but I remember you being very nervous when T.J. Watt returned to fumble for a touchdown and the Seriously. Steelers were up 7 nothing at the end of a quarter. Yeah. Now – the floodgates opened <laughs> in a very, very bad way for the Steelers after that. But at least I got to enjoy the possibility that it wasn't the craziest prediction ever made. Um, I, I think the Steelers are giving off good vibes. I really do. They got two head coaches. Yeah. They, they, got, they got Mike Tomlin and Brian Flores. Are you kidding me? They have an overpowering defense. They've got Najee Harris. Now he's reportedly dealing with a Liz Frank issue in his foot. But, but it, still, and, it, and until he's shut down, he's the guy. They're going to be fine at quarterback. They've got great receivers. The offensive line is the big question mark, but I have a feeling they're going to work this thing into something better than people expect. I just feel that that most of the league and most of the media and most of the fans are just kind of like, ah, they're down. I think, to me, they're giving off, because I know that team as well as any team, yeah. they, to me, are quietly giving off a sense that, and Mike Tomlin said it to Peter King, bring it on. And bring it on, and that's all that needs to be said about the Steelers. I I I, I don't disagree with you there. Uh, the vibes have been good. I mean, only thing we've really questioned is the offensive line a little bit through the through training camp and, and preseason. Even with the quarterback duel itself, we go, well, damn it! I think they're going to be good. In either one, it's not going to be like a game changer if they pick the wrong one to start the year here, which I expected to be Trubisky. Uh, so I'm I'm with you there. There has been a lot of positive vibes, and they are one of those teams that. You know, you've always said they're backed into a corner. That's when they seem to, you know, start throwing haymakers and connecting and, and become a force. Um, all right, my next one, I'm going to go with the Dolphins. I mean, Damn gosh. It. Yeah. That was my next one. You know, I Just mean, for the record, two and on, yeah. that was my next one as Good. well. Yep, yep. Two and on, two and on. It's funny. Two and on has replaced Q and on, right? I don't even hear about Q and on anymore. I just hear about two and on. It's totally two and on now. But either way. No, but, because, well, never mind. Well, <laughs> don't, don't go down there. It. I'm just making I'm a joke. I'm not going to say it. All right. Either okay. way, it's, it's vibes. They've been trying to force vibes on us all off season, but. I think when they're a team that just kind of hits you in the face when you turn and watch them on TV or film or whatever, where you just go, holy crap, how many good players have they got? I mean, how many? The defense has got studs everywhere. The offense has studs everywhere. Mike McDaniel gives them a new energy. You know? So I just look at them and go, yeah, things are positive. And Tua seems like he's focused and in a great spot as far as him personally. So they're giving off lots of good vibes down there in South Florida. This may be the hard knocks bump and the fact that Dan Campbell is mm. such an entertaining head coach. And the bar is chronically low. It doesn't take much to create good vibes for a team that hasn't won a playoff game since 1991. I'll say the Detroit Lions. Especially in a wide-open NFC. Is it crazy to think that the Lions could find a way to string something together, win some games. They were in a lot of games last year. You've said were. it before. Yeah. They were a pain in the butt for a lot of teams. Oh, my gosh, they and, were. And, and uh, th th there's a positivity. There's, you know, th yeah, they have flaws, but everybody's got flaws. But I, I think that they, they are at least giving off good vibrations. They are in a spot entering a season that they haven't been in a very long time where people are actually paying attention to them. Yeah, yeah. And for the Lions, that's a win in and of itself. It is. It's definitely a win in itself, 100%. You know, there's a few teams that make this list that are – but I'm with you there. They have positive vibes. Uh, the Ravens I think about here, the Bills I think about are giving off good positive vibes. I think vibes. they want us to take a break. Okay, I think, finally. Is, is that what you said? She said last oh, one. Oh, go ahead. Do your last yeah. one. But, but this is what – I'm going to go – I'm going to go with a team down in the bottom of the list like you just did, too, just to give some up. The Jaguars. I think the Jaguars are giving off great vibes. I mean, how can they not be better from last year? But with Doug Peterson, Trevor Lawrence's look good, ATNs look good, Trayvon Walker's look good. There's a lot of young talent where you go, wow, I'll give the Jags some love for, for positive vibes. All right, blow the horn. Uh -huh. 
He likes I, the Kirk Cousins today. Hey, well, he likes it's, them. It's not. It's very simple. It's very simple. They have moved on from a curmudgeonly cantankerous head coach who was a defensive specialist whose defenses sucked the last two years. They have an offensive head coach who comes from the Sean McVay tree with a talented allotment of skill position players. Very talented. Justin Jefferson, Adam Thielen, Irv Smith, if he's healthy, Dalvin Cook. They're so confident in the backup running backs, they're talking about trading Alexander Madison, who's a starting caliber running back. And Kirk Cousins, if you draw plays that will work before the walls cave in, and the defense, it could be like the Cowboys last year, where the defense really doesn't have to be 85 Bears or anything close to it. It just has to be better than crap. Right. So... Uh, I, th- I think I think they can make some noise. I think they could even win that division. Whoa, whoa! I think they can. Wow, they can. I wouldn't go and that you know far. But I can I see you know them making noise. I know. I, am I know about this the boys in purple. I'm I think shocked. they can win the division. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.